This is Phoebe. This week she will be three years and five months, which is very old for a rat. And uh, when she was getting very old, like right around three, uh, we noticed her hind legs were getting paralyzed, maybe 80% paralyzed, and her right front paw was about 50% paralyzed. And in looking around through the literature, Debbie Ducommon, the rat lady, had a suggestion there about reversing or stopping uh, paralysis of the legs uh, by using vitamin B12. And so we didn't think she was going to survive more than a few days. Uh, but just on a whim, we went out and bought some B12. And much to our surprise, uh, the next day she got full use back of her right, well you can see her right paw is working okay, she's pretty active, and her hind legs were pretty far gone, they got up to about 50%, so they actually improved, and she's lived five months after that, and uh, is doing good. Um, but anyway, it's, it's very difficult to figure out how much to give a rat, so I'm going to um, show you how to do it easily, so anybody can follow the instructions and not overdose their rat. Yeah, I wanted to mention uh, one reason this rat has lived so long, I think, is she doesn't get things like yogis, sugar, and fat. You know, why give your uh, rat a yogi when you could hang a spike in the cage that's got cantaloupe, honeydew, uh, pineapple, and carrot? They like it better, it's better for them, and uh, they don't become obese. Okay, so here's the deal. Vitamin B12. You want to buy some? that for each one milliliter you have 1,000 micrograms. There's a little scale. See where it says one milliliter? That's a thousand micrograms. Just shake it up first. Put that in. A rat is supposed to have 10 micrograms of B12 twice a day, like a morning and at night. And it tastes good, so it's not like having to give them medicine. You can just mix it in with a little Ensure or, or whatever, or just give it to them straight. You're going to need one of these syringes. Um, this is a one milliliter syringe. And if you're probably familiar with these from using doxycycline or Batril. And this is filtered water because you don't want to give fluoride to a rat. It causes brain problems. And we'll put in four of water. Two. Three. Okay, and then we want to mix it all up. I don't know if you can see the point 0.1 mark, but there it is right there, and that's too much. You want to go down halfway there to the point 0.05. So it's halfway between the beginning and point 0.1. If your rat is like really large or overweight, you probably could get away with doing point 0.1. But this one's got a bubble in it, so you want to make sure you don't have bubbles. So you can hold it vertically and just knock it, and that gets the bubbles out. Twice a day, once in the morning, once in the night. And that will prevent them from having nerve degradation in their hind legs and their front legs.